an hour long mouse parade and this part of the road is about responding to road signs and markings on the floor. The examiner won't get involved in your actions because the information is outside for us to see. So I can start to see the red circles up ahead with the white line in the centre which is a no entry and a spot of floor markings I can just start to see the bend and the markings towards the left which is letting me know that our road follows around to the left. Not expect the examiners to give you any hints here. If you ask them, do I go left here? They would just say, do what you think is appropriate. And that is a bit of a hint that you've answered your own question in a way about following around to the left. But they will not give you a direct yes answer or no answer. This road, it's all about responding to road signs and markings because the examiner won't tell you what you're coming up towards because the road signs will give you that information so you can start to see a red circle up ahead white line through the center of it so we know there's a no entry so our next choice is can we go left or right because you can't go ahead now looking to the right you can see it's a stone wall and looks like it's just sort of courtyard so it's got to be a turn to the left which is a narrow short turn that i'm going to use first gear because around the corner you can see all the park cars lined up all the way up. We're now on Sandbrook Lane and we've got to deal with a no entry sign. So we can see up ahead we've got our no entry sign. So the only place we can go here is around to the left. We've got a floor marking to tell us that. And that leads us into a one way street. If we miss the signs of the one way that we've just passed, a good clue is look at all the park cars either side of us. They all are facing the same direction. So that's the last clue. A final clue would be the giveaway markings at the end of the road will be all the way from the left to the right. They won't stop in the middle and become a single broken white line on the right hand side. So that's how you can spot a one way street and have three clues to work that out. We're still on Mill Hill Road and this can be another confusing part of a driving test route. The sat nav will give you an advance warning that in, at the end of the road you should turn to the right. What confuses people is they just hear turn right rather than at the end of the road and start to think that they should be turning to the right here where the no entry is. Remember you do not ever turn into a no entry. We're going to follow the road ahead into the one way system and the end of road is when we can no longer follow the road ahead which we can see here because there's a building ahead of us and be as far to the right as you safely can be because again it's a one way street the view is a bit restricted to the right turn out of this road due to parked cars so just make sure you're absolutely sure it's safe before you emerge you may have to wait for a little bit of time Also along this route the examiner won't give you in any directions because we have to respond to road signs and markings so as we start this bend around to the right we can see ahead of us is a no entry sign which means we must take the next left going into the one-way system if you didn't indicate there not worry about it but do check your center left